Tell me a little bit about like, sorry, just to interrupt you, but when did you, when did mountain biking come onto the radar for you? So me and my brother were at Ponca city and we were probably like 13 and he was probably like 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't even think we're on Cowies yet. I think we're on Yamaha still. Tomax were at the races. He was like, you know, he's a teeny kid, a couple of divisions below us, basically. He was a dwarf, like a super small kid growing up. Right. Uh, and um, he raced 50s. He was great on 50s and 60s. But we ended up buying mountain bikes from from John. My brother bought, um, I think his bike was called a revolver, and mine was called a six shooter. Okay. And he, he got a cross country bike, and I got like an enduro, like fucking over beefed up things. Mm. But, Magira brakes and Cane Creek, this and that on it. But so those were, we got those, we barely rode them. We rode them here and there, but we were obviously Moto 100%. So we really didn't touch those because they're, they're more like a training tool. Training tool. Fun on. Yeah. Well, we didn't have fun on them. That's like something we did to sweat to like bet ourselves on the motorcycle. Yeah. So they just were there as a tool. But, you know, years and years went by, like 10 years went by. And I just broke these bikes, these old Tomax. Like, it's the funniest thing ever. I broke these Tomax out four years ago. Really? And I'm you like, still have it? I still have them. <laughs> the one no. fell off the car. And my, <laughs> wife, my wife strapped this, the, the, the six shooter on the car and it fell off and just destroyed down the freeway at 70. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> oh, man. So sad. But I have the I have the other bike still. I gave it to my buddy. The Magira brakes are still working perfectly. Never bled. Bullet Same proof. brake pads. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, dude. So this bike, I broke them out of the shed. Um, didn't do anything to them. Just fucking started riding these bikes, riding the cross country bike, doing base rides, breaking the other bike out. And there's actually one video on my Instagram of me like Lark Larry, like people making fun of me in the mountain bike industry because I'm wearing spandex, like with no helmet riding you know, like some some jump line that i found on my okay. cross-country loop and i was like yo babe film me you know i gotta find but, that uh, class but it's basically the biggest joke you've ever seen okay. um and that was on a tomac there and that sparked it dude like i was just so jacked on mountain bikes at that point point. and then my buddy he he bought a, a, a really nice one and i was like so stoked on like the level of like the where the bikes have gotten mm. And I was really trying to get one. I was I built this like pump track jump inside of a he had DJs as a dirt jumps and I built a dirt jump park in the backyard and like inside of a dump truck, outside of a dump truck, like wood features, like an absolute like rad park basically. Wow. Um so I ended, and I ended up getting into it. Um finally landed support with somebody, got a bike. Um and yeah, dude, it's like I said, it's been a blessing because motocross like it's a blessing and a curse but it's it's been cursing me because you know it's hard to not do it or want to do it and do something with it but you know know that it's not really worth it and, and as well my body is it's it's had enough you know I've, yeah yeah I've, yeah you know I've, i basically fractured or broke my back a couple times and compressed this and you know got deteriorated this so when i ride the motorcycle it i hurt for over a week really if i ride it the way i want to ride it i'm hurting my yeah. joints are hurting for like a week you know and it's like so i i don't ride it often for for that matter um so but the mountain biking is completely different man it's 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 light it's uh mm -hmm. it's more i have to keep myself going rather than just hanging on for dear life but yeah. it's it's been great so 